Hello again. Um, I'm just going to go through the second song of this uh, album. I don't have the the game to show you this time, but um, it's actually not a it's not a it's not a massively skilled example of chess. It's a game between Paul Morphy and uh, an amateur player in in New Orleans. And I think it was played after Morphy returned from his successful trips to Europe. Um, so this song is kind of just based on Paul Morphy's life because I wrote the first song about a Paul Morphy game, but then I hadn't written the lyrics about him. I wrote, wrote them about this opera. I wanted to dedicate a song to him. Uh, he, well, he was born in America, in uh, Louisiana. And his father was a kind of a, a wealthy businessman who was connected to the port of Louisiana. Um, Paul Morphy studied as a as as a solicitor, um, but as a young boy, he showed like uh, promise as a chess player. He I think he was that he was beating his uncle and his father as as like a five year old or something like that. He had just figured out the game from watching them play. Um, Agad Matter has a great series on Paul Morphy. He calls it the Morphy Saga, and it goes through all the different um, games that Morphy played throughout his life and career, <clears throat> uh, especially a kind of an attempt, his attempts to play a, a man called Staunton, who was considered the, the world number one at the time. He was an English grandmaster. <clears throat> uh, Morphy was known as the as the pride and sorrow of chess, hence the name of this song. Uh, he, he played the game really beautifully, uh, hence the pride. The sorrow, I think, it is because he he quit chess at quite a young age and stopped playing it. Uh, I, I'm not sure why did it, is it, be, did it became boring to him um, or did he just want to seek out a more normal life? Um, but anyway, the fact that he quit gave him this name, the Pride and Sorrow. Um, and he died quite a young man uh, in New Orleans. Uh, from what I could read, uh, his mental health waned on him as a, as a, in his later years by a couple of accounts. He kind of developed some paranoia. And it was, there was accounts that he could hear voices in his head. <clears throat> and... The story I read that he died uh, after getting into a cold bath, um, after walking around New Orleans on a particularly hot day, and this caused him to have a stroke. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I so I wrote a I wrote a poem first for this song, uh, which was kind of, uh, I guess I wanted to imagine his own inner inner monologue um, of these voices, you know, kind of attacking him and what they might say. Um, Morphy, during his career, never accepted prize money for tournaments that he won or would never gamble on a game of chess. Um, so I kind of mentioned that, but in a negative way, I kind of say, that, like he's saying to himself, yeah, you never, you never played for money because you always had it because your father was rich and he would kind of keep you in funds. <clears throat> um, yeah, he never married. Uh, when he returned to New Orleans after retiring from chess, he wanted to set up uh, his uh, office or his practice as a solicitor, but he, he was plagued by people who would come and were pretending to have a case for him, but they all actually just wanted to play Morphe in chess. And this, the game that this, song is based on might actually be one of those because the the opponent is unnamed and they don't know who the the opponent was but he was an amateur is what was written in in all the places i could find this this game is kind of morphe kind of toys with this player into into the checkmate which he marked here as morphe manages to make his castling move which is normally a very defensive move he makes it into the checkmate uh, by kind of forcing his opponent's king right down into his 
into his kind of house, into his part of the board, and then castles to checkmate. It's uh, it doesn't very it doesn't happen very often. Um, I chose a minor key for this one. Um, I wanted to end the the song on a on a on a minor uh, note. So I chose the last move, which I no I nominated a king move for these songs. I gave myself license when it comes to castling. There's a, the king and rook both move, but I gave myself license to choose which chord I would use. And in some songs, I used the rook because it suited the melody better. In this song, I used the king. And the, the, the opponent's king features a lot in the song as well, as it's being chased down the board. You can see all the E minors for the opponent's king as it's being kind of chased down. There's lots of checks. And this last one then is Morphe's king moving uh, to, to checkmate um, by castling. Um, what else could I say? It starts on an odd kind of chord. It's um, uh, because I, I wanted to end the song on this B to E minor sound, which is kind of a sad slash scary chord change. It goes like. Uh, I wanted to end on that, so I was forced to give the pawn that B, um, which meant I had to start on that B, which is not a common place to start a song, which is one of the cool things that happened in this kind of thing. Like, uh, uh, it forced me to, to start a song where I would normally have never started a song with that chord. Um, another thing that happened in this song is the amount of E minors because of the amount of king moves, <clears throat> um, I had to find like a new note to sing over the top of this E minor here because the melody was getting boring. So usually over a chord, you might sing a note that's in the chords. So you might sing on this is E minor. The melody might be dealing with that note or this note. You might have other little kind of fancy kind of add-ons or. Um, but for this song, I found myself having to sing a D, uh, which I don't think I had done in any other song. Uh, I'm not sure how clear that uh, that explanation is, but it's uh, it was just something that I hadn't come across before or hadn't been forced to do before anyway. Um, so I'll, I'll play the song. Um, these are the moves. It's a, again, a short game, which was handy for me. It's 37 moves. Um, is that right? No, 35 moves. So 35 chords. Um, okay. Uh, so yeah, for, again, for these NFTs, my sister Sarah and her husband Luke spent a lot of time programming the games to play along with the song so that you can see the game play in time and you can see this castling checkmate happen on the last chord as it gets there. All right, I'll, I'll shut up. <clears throat> Um, 
I think uh, for anyone who's noticing that there isn't uh, 35 notations here for chords, uh, I didn't write in the repeats. There's actually, there's um, D is a queen. There's a few queen moves in this line here that I probably should have written in. I play, I think it's four Ds there for four queen moves, but I, I just didn't didn't repeat them. Um, one other thing that happened in this song, or I don't know how deliberate it was. Well, I guess it was. I mean, this kingdom come line was kind of nice because this it was on a king move and it's kingdom come as in his demise, but also his opponent's demise in the in the game in question. Okay, um, thank you. I'll I'll do um, I'll do the next one uh, soon. Thank you.